YTL Corp was founded in Malaysia in 1955 as a construction company. Today, it's a global integrated infrastructure developer. Helming the empire is the third generation, Francis Yeo, who started working in the family business when he was a teenager. I started at 16, was still in school. My father already threw me to the deep end of the business. That early learning paid off. In 1988, Francis took over the day-to-day -day running of the business from his father. And under his stewardship, YTL grew from a single listed entity to a conglomerate of five separately listed companies. So how does stable stewardship work in such an organization? Tantri, thank you so much for talking to me today. It's such a pleasure. Now, we know YTL um, is one of Malaysia's biggest conglomerates with history spanning over 60 years. As the third generation heading the family business, what would you say is the secret to such an enduring legacy? From day one, I, I always, together with my siblings, thought we must have businesses that are very sustainable and very long-term in nature so that we don't suffer this third generation curse. So we go about, set about, innovatively looking for ideas and, 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 and challenging the status quo of businesses. And one thing I learned from young, uh, from my father and my friend, grandfather, is don't worship short-term thinking. Always invest in people, always invest in technology as it changes, be as long-term thinking as we can. That's probably the secret, long-term thinking. How do you balance the short-term thinking of the markets with the long-term objectives and goals of the family? Has it made decision-making challenging at times? Uh, the the long-term thinking is very important. When we fear our third generation curse, one of the Gordian knot ways of making sure we are not guilty of this curse is to find businesses with concessions in perpetuity so that we can pass it to the next generation beyond even our fiscal lifetime. And that's why all our businesses have got footprints and templates. For example, Wessex Water is a concession perpetuity. Our Saraya Power is freehold, so there's no limit to the concessions. Even our REITs, we've got assets of 50 years and above, for example. So we think long-term, where the revenues and the, uh, are not going to be impeded by short-term cycles.